you know, because I've been, um, I've been under severe attack. The thing that I've noticed is that um, what exercises the prefrontal cortex is music. Music is one of the best things you can do to strengthen your brain. And actually people have known, they've noticed that uh, uh, people don't get Alzheimer's if they're uh, either singing or, or dancing. It strengthens their brain, um, which is nice to know. And of, of course, I, I, uh, when I was nearly dead, I, f I forgot all of my ability to read music. I had to start from scratch. It was really, it was very disconcerting. But the thing about the brain is the brain is, um, we're, we're able to make new co connections. And so it sort of felt like I was losing my filing system for music. And I had to, um, I had to learn how to do that. And one of the things that was helping me was if I was, was playing with the metronome, something about the rhythm um, was helping me, uh, it was helping me with the music. But um, I, don't, I don't mean to uh, go on at great length about me. It's just that I think you need to know who I am because we all need to work together and uh, people need to be relaxed about whether uh, there's a likelihood that somebody's going to run off with all the world's wealth. And as long as I'm the overseer mandate trustee, that's not going to happen. And you, you've seen from um, how I've acted up until now. I've got a, a track record. And um, so, yeah, that's one of the reasons that I think I'm being protected because uh, you don't want to, um, to make a mistake with the, with the next overseer mandate trustee. The way that we work together is we're all in a, um, in a group. Our, our brains function in one place. That's also how the mind control works. They, um, they are hacking into our, our brains. It's like a modem and they, uh, they like to, to try to simulate uh, when, you're, when you're being subjected to mind control. You really can't tell whether it's you thinking that or whether it's um, the, the what, what do they call it? It's like a suggestion. Um, but some of those suggestions are pretty, pretty potent. And you really do have to be able to distinguish between your own thoughts and the, um, the, the military uh, mind control technology. Uh, but enough of us, I think, have also realized how to work ourselves loose from the mind control. And so that um, the bankers and the, the um, black nobility thought that with these very powerful weapons, uh, we weren't going to manage to get ourselves loose. And that's also one of the reasons that I'm under attack because, um, and, and why I'm okay. Because, um, no, I'm not being directed by anybody. I'm just doing what it is that, um, that I think ought to be done under the circumstances. And it's, it is a big responsibility, but um, as I said to my mother, I don't really think I have a choice. Once you, you, um, you have that job, you can't put it down because you don't want there to be World War III and all of your um, children and, re and, and um, relatives all perish. So we do have a survival instinct. And we're all working together, as I said. Now, um, I'm just going to try to think what else. It, oh, yes. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention to you is um, something that I learned uh, a couple of years ago from Virginia Huber, who was a very close friend of, uh, actually not of mine, but friends of mine. And she had a, a memorial service. And that was when I understood just how important it is for us to be in relationship with each other. That's, that's really um, the most important thing is for us to be interconnected with each other. 
to support each other, to um, have empathy with, um, with each other. That's, that's what we have to be. And that's what all of us have to be, actually. Um, and the way we're, we're going to have to do it is um, from the grassroots up. We're going to have to work together in our own villages and towns and work ourselves loose from the banking cartel. We can do that with local currency. Uh, that's, that's a very important thing. Uh, and what it is about local currency is that uh, nobody's going to print the local currency. Uh, it's actually a barter system. People are, are going to exchange the items that are produced in the local communities. That's the currency. And then the other currency is going to be uh, gold. But we can't just mint gold coins because you can't go to a grocery store um, and buy groceries with uh, quantities of gold. It's got to be subdivided. So there's a way to um, make uh, gold powder into envelopes and then you, you have the exact amount of gold that's on the face of that, the face of the, of the bill. That's how we're going to do it. So we've already learned how and how the, the local communities get the agreement to work with the barge system. There are many communities that have done this and we just have to uh, choose how we're going to do it. You don't have to copy any local community. You can, you can just select how you want to do it yourself. So these are the main things I wanted to talk about now. And I'll be in touch. We're going to, we're going to continue because it is important for us to be in touch. Uh, and I also want to thank you for uh, giving me the privilege of working with you on this. So thank you. Goodbye.